So you're doing your thing at Rockefeller. You got songs that are reacting. You're playing your position, and then Rockefeller starts to break up. All right. From your point of view, why do you think Rockefeller started to break up? Uh, honestly, I think Jay was getting, I think Jay was too too smart, and uh, I think he I think he could have moved. He felt as though he moved. He could move at a better and faster pace alone, and be and it'd be more lucrative for him. Yeah, I mean, what one of the, I'm not gonna say who told me this, but it was someone close to the situation. Someone told me that every year the Forbes list would come out and Jay wasn't on the Forbes list, the position mm-hmm. he wanted to because he had to split the money with Dame and, and Biggs. Right. And that was part of the, the motivation for him to just say, you know something, I'm going to do this shit myself. Hey, man, well, I'm sure the money is definitely a motivator. Yeah. But in my opinion, man, from the outside looking and just in my opinion, I just feel as though, like, them working together in the beginning was dope as a starter, you know what I'm saying? But I think so much time had went by and I think Jay wanted to just grow. He he was moving so much faster. Yeah. Dame seemed like Dame was just having fun and just living in the moment. And it just seemed like Jay could just foresee the future more. Like, yo, it's bigger than what you're doing right now. Well, so you can stay here and have fun with this shit. <laughs> I'm out. To be fair, Dame is a difficult person. Yeah, yeah, but it's Dame is abrasive. Yeah, but Dame Dame upset a lot of people. He did. Dame burned a lot of bridges. Mm-hmm. You know, I've I've dealt with Dame before. I no longer deal with Dame anymore, <laughs> and I didn't even deal with him very long. But. I don't I don't deal with Dame at all either. But I can say in his defense, though, just to keep it G, and we're not homies. We don't talk. I haven't spoken to him in years. We don't have a relationship anymore at all. But uh, he did a lot for me, a lot for us. Well, he signed you. Besides that, though, just throughout the years, I witnessed him just do a lot for a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And he bent a lot of rules uh, and fought a lot. You know what I'm saying? A lot more than... I didn't realize it until I was away from him and I had to deal with other people, and they wasn't doing this type of shit for me. And then you missed it. You missed the asshole now. Like, yo, I'll take the asshole back. Because these niggas is not helping me at all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, Dame, Dame so definitely... He, Championed. He got his highs and, and he got his good and his bad things, man. But now looking back, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather we'll put up with his bullshit than a lot of these other motherfuckers. I feel you. Um, the spending was excessive. Very. Like, I think it was, uh, we had Choke No Joke on here some years back. And I look at the money that was being spent, you know, uh, how Jay had to divide his money by having partners, you know, and, you know, profits that was made that probably was split three ways, you know, that now he don't have to split. Like, what was the craziest thing you saw? Uh, craziest thing I saw was uh, one time I was in Baseline with uh, my man Bula, shout out Bula. He, uh, Dame and Biggs, uh, and had Kanye with him. And he came to baseline and he just looked in the room and saw us, just randomly just saw us. This wasn't playing like pack a bag. He's like, yo, 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 come here, hurry up, come on. Come on, lie, you too. And we go downstairs getting the, the, the turtle top or whatever, you know, the little van. Mm-hmm. And we driving and shit. We don't know where the fuck we going. We think, I don't know where we going because you never know where the fuck you going with this guy. And we going to the fucking, um, the lit, the, 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 the airport. To hop on a jet. He's like, yo, yo, come on. Yo. And it's me, Yay, Biggs, Dame, and I think Dame's uh, girlfriend at the time or wife, whatever, I don't know. So we fly to, to Twister's video with R. Kelly in Chicago. We go there, we, we go there for about an hour. Hmm. Drive back to the Clearport, the Clearport. Go back to the Clearport and uh hop back on the jet and then go to uh go to, to Vegas. And catch the fight. Floyd came and picked us up from the Clearport. Took us to to the MGM. We watched a um, a, a Bernard Hopkins fight, and saw a Talib Kali uh, concert. And then go well, back to the Clearport. It's in one day. <laughs> and then we fly to Hollywood from from Vegas. 
and we go chill in Hollywood and eat, and he got the private chef in the mansion and shit. And I think, uh, what's his name? Andre Harrell came over, and um, uh, what's her name? What's the girl? Um, Hilton. What's her name? Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton's little sister. Mm-hmm. She comes through. So this shit is just blowing my mind right now. I'm so high. I'm smoking weed. I'm like, this shit is really taking a weird effect on me. And that night, we end up catching the flight um, back to the Clearport and caught the jet back home to uh, back to New York City. All in one day. All in one day. It was retarded. Each of these flights is probably like 100000 each each way. I'm not exactly sure, but it was definitely a lot. The fuel is very expensive. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. So... Rockefeller breaks up. Yeah. You end up not going with Dame Dash. Yeah, I didn't go and with Biggs. Dame. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. Was there a reason? Yeah, because uh, around that time, uh, Flip Sides was out, and um, me and Free were doing really good for ourselves, independent, you know, just making money on the road. We would do two shows a night, cash, and you know what I mean? So... I, under my contract, I didn't really have to stay there if I didn't want to. You know what I mean? Under contract, if they broke up, if any of the members who put the the uh, company together would, would leave or sell it, they can't sell us. You know what I'm saying? So you could leave. So I was a free agent, and I spoke to Dame about it. He's like, yo, let's have a meeting about it, man. So I go to the meeting, and... uh. They're all there, and there's like all this armadillo everywhere. And I never seen them actually drink armadillo like this before. I never seen like they would take shots and shit like that. But today we're drinking out the bottle suddenly. They're like, "Oh, hun, drink a bottle. Hun, crack, drink, toast, another toast, toast." Oh, yo, what the fuck is? So we getting drunk as shit. So I figure like, oh, yo, is these niggas trying to get me like drunk as shit and get me to stay? <laughs> I don't know. That's what my impression I had. So he's like, now we done got shitty drunk. But around that time, I was getting drunk anyway because we was just drinking mad shit. You know, we doing shows. We on Rockefeller. We partying. So he uh, he pulls out the um, the paperwork and shit. He's like, yo, so what you going to do, man? I know you know what's up, man. You staying here with us, right? I said, I'll stay for, for, like, for the right price. I'll stay. Because if you look at it, man, I'm a free agent right now. Why would you stop me from going to go get another check? We got a hit record on, on the radio. I can go, we can go anywhere and go get another check. What was the record at the time? Flip side. Flip side, okay. So, I mean, it was the perfect time for me to be a free agent and just go. You know what I'm saying? My name was was buzzing crazy. He's like, all right, so what you want then, man? And I think, I, I told him a number. I forgot what number I said. And he had offered me, he was like, yo, I'll give you like, I think he offered me, I think he offered me like, Ten or fifteen thousand dollars. I'm like, I'm like, yo, we, me and Free was making that at certain, like, at a night. Yeah. At venues, I'm like, yo, you know what, man? I'm, I'm cool, damn. He's like, so what you saying, man? I said, I'm cool, man. I'm alright. I ain't fucking with it. So he called Beans on the phone and put him on the intercom. I guess they figured like, yo, Beans, this Beans young boy, Beans could, could. Get this nigga under control because he ain't listening. He get me on the phone. He like, hey, yo, Mac, yo, yo, your, your man in here tripping, man. He, Mac like, yo, ho, ho. He like, yo, your man, your man crack, man. He talking about he, he, he out. Mac like, oh, you out, crack? Why, what's up? I said, they ain't speaking my language, man. I need some more bread. <laughs> he like, oh, all right, then that's cool. Give Dane my chain. Like, <laughs> Just like that. Because oh, so I had Mac Chain on. So if you out, nigga, don't be out with my shit on. Take my shit off. Give it to Dame and go about your, go about your way. State it was a rock chain. chain. A Rockefeller chain. Because right, I never got a rock chain from them. Okay. You were, you were wearing beanie shit. I was wearing Mac Chain, the gold joint. I was like, yo, give Dame my chain. I took that shit off. I was like, yo, huh? Because the whole time in my head, I'm like, bet. I'm about to go get it. Fuck this chain. Fuck all this shit. I'm about to go get this bread. I got to call my lawyer. We about to bust a move. I give the chain to Dame, and I was like, yo, man, I appreciate you, man. Good, nice working with you and all that. And then I got the Biggs. I love Biggs, because he, he a dope nigga. I was like, yo, Biggs. I was like, yo, Biggs, thank you, man. I appreciate you working on me and that. He's like, yo, you don't mean that shit. Like, like, yo, get the fuck off. He's looking like, yo, you get the fuck off my face. That's basically, he ain't say that, but that's how he looked at me. He's just like, yo, you don't mean that. 
I said, yo, cool out, man. Thank you, man. And I just walked, I walked out and I felt great though. I was like, I was like, I just felt relieved. And I'm walking and shit, and then somebody that was working for Dame came in the hallway. It's like, hey Petey, he said he'll give you a, and like added another five on there. <laughs> I'm like, I just was like, hey, get out of here. I just kept going. And that was dope, man, because I'm glad that happened. Cause uh Things just was happening, man. I'm, after that happened, my lawyer, uh, ironically, my lawyer had ran into Jay at like a BMI party or some shit or some type of BMI publishing party. And he explained to him like, yo, uh, I represent PD Crack. And, uh, you know, he a free agent now. He had a meeting with Dame that didn't work out. So now we, we about to find him some placement at a company. And Jay was like, yo, man, take my number down, man. I want, let me talk to Crack. And my lawyer called me, like, yo, I just seen Jay. You got a meeting with him. I'm like, bet. Well, because Jay went on to become the president of Def Jam. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we go to the meeting. It was late as fuck, like late night, like, like 10, 11 o'clock at night. He in there by himself, just him and the secretary. And we sit down, and he explained to me. He was like, yo, man, um... You know, since y'all that ain't work out with you and Dame, uh, I didn't want to make it seem like I, we was tug of war. And we had a meeting about what artists we was going to keep and who was going to go with who. And he, he seemed like really strong about keeping you, so I ain't want to trip. But if that ain't work out and y'all talk, then you more than welcome to stay here with me. Hmm. And I was like, bet. Yeah. So I'm like, yo, what I got to do? And he's like, nothing. He's like, I'm the president. Um, we just going to keep your same contract you got and we're going to finish the your project that you was working on, and we on. And, of course... Oh, because you were already... Yeah, because Rockefeller already was signed. already on yeah, Def Jam. So okay. we didn't have to do, like, a renegotiation. And uh, I don't know, I just felt... I just wanted the opportunity to work with him anyway. So fuck the check anywhere else. Like, I just thought this was so much bigger than the check. And that's how I end up doing the, uh, the Neo situation, because... Tata, yeah, because Neo was on Def Jam too. And Tata was the executive producer of Neo's first album. So Tata pulled him and Tata pulled me in and put me on the album. So dope. But I doubt if that would have happened if I went with Jay with Dame. With Dame, so. right? Well, because Dame Dash Music Group never really went anywhere. Not that I know of. Yeah, 